Hi, my name is Andrew Caden, and I want to talk with you a little bit about the Andean Cross, or Cruz Andino. This is a geometric shape that I saw all over the place during my recent trip to Peru, where I was researching my upcoming book. And if you've been to Peru, or perhaps Chile, or Bolivia, or some other country that share, that's contiguous with the Andes Mountains, you've likely seen this shape too. I got this cool silver ring during my time there, and you can see etched all around its circumference is a what appears to be a four-armed cross, superimposed on a square, with a circle in the middle of it. And throughout this video, I'll be showing a lot of different images to illustrate the points that I'm about to make. Um, but I wanted to understand what are some of the different explanations for the meaning of this cross. It's a symbol, so it must represent something. And what I found is depending on what you read or who you talk to, you're gonna get different answers. And that's exactly what I found out. Um, this cross is formed by the intersection of four axes. So you have a vertical, a horizontal, and then you have two axes that are 45 degree angles to those. Um, so it's an axis mundi, or a, a, a world axis, or perhaps a cosmic axis, or a coming together of many different directions. And the one point that I, I came across consistently, the one interpretation that I got over and over and over again, was that the circle in the middle of this cross represents Cusco. Well, Cusco is derived from a Quechua word, which means navel, or belly button. Um, and Cusco was believed by the Incas to be the center of the world, or the center of the universe. Um, so it makes sense that this cross would be an axis mundi, or the, you know, depicting the entire universe, and that Cusco, the heartland of the Inca Empire, would be at its very center. So that was the one consistent point that I saw over and over again. Um, the explanations for the, the four arms of the cross varied. I've seen in certain places that um, those four arms represent the cardinal directions, so north, east, south, and west. Um, they may also represent the four uh, geopolitical provinces or regions or suyus of the Incan Empire, which was collectively known as Tawantan Suyu, or four parts together. Uh, those four arms may also represent the four elements, so sky, earth, air, and water. So there's three different versions or possible interpretations. Um, all or none may be, um, you know, the or original meaning of this cross. Um, you also have the four corners that are between the four-armed cross. Um, I've seen in some places that these represent work, sharing, love, and knowledge. Um, the four-armed cross and these in between corners together fashion what look like four sets of stairs. Um, and stairs are a design that you see over and over again in Andean um, history and mythology and spiritual beliefs. I saw steps and the Andean cross or maybe half of the Andean cross. I saw that throughout my, um, my journey around Cusco as well as in Machu Picchu, as well as in Alantai Tambo. I saw it in a lot of the architecture. Um, and and stairs are, are very important. They symbolize ascension or emergence, either from um, birth, you know, through life to death, or possibly um, an ascension of uh, consciousness or spiritual awareness. Um, because these steps form three different levels, it's also been theorized that they represent the four domains or realms of Andean beliefs or mythology. Um, the upper world or Hanan Pacha, which was symbolized by the condor, the middle world um, or Kai Pacha, which is symbolized by the jaguar, or the Ugu Pacha or underworld, um, which is symbolized by the serpent. So again, that's just another possible explanation. In some uh, books and on a few websites, I've seen a triangle drawn around the circle representing Cusco. Um, and the apex of the triangle is sometimes labeled balance, while the base of the triangle is sometimes labeled um, duality. So it represents a spectrum of light and darkness, of good and evil, of man and woman. I've also seen that uh, one explanation that the 12 points formed around the cross, or the 12 angles, may represent the 12 calendrical months of the year. So all of these seem, you know, plausible. They all kind of make sense when you've studied Peru's history and, and, and culture, um, but none of them are really known for sure today. However, I have come across a couple discussions uh, online, as well as the, the discussions I had with some of the people I met in Peru, 
um, a suggestion that the true meaning is known, but it's only known to a very select group. Um, much of Peru's, especially its pre-Columbian history, has been passed down orally. And so this knowledge is preserved by select groups who have, you know, maintained the history and who pass it on. And for the rest of us who are outside this group, you know, it's impossible for us to know what the true meaning of the Andean cross is. You know, we won't find it in a book or a website or anything like that. I don't know if that's true, but it's certainly intriguing and it adds a, a, a convenient element of mystery that I'm sure pr uh, Patrick will uh, stumble upon during his upcoming adventure to Peru, um, which will be captured in my new book, which will come out in early 2018. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, don't stop exploring. Thank you.